Good evening everyone. Welcome back to the kitchen table. Tonight on the kitchen table the F450 is complete. Um, so in celebration here's some Mexican beer. Cheers. Mm -hmm. We've actually had a slightly warm day today so it's been quite good. So here we are. We've now finished the hardware build of the F450. It's got to be maidened yet and I've got to sort out the um, calibration, the voltage protection, um, the gains and, and that sort of stuff. So from the software side. However, hardware wise, we are finished. So I thought we'd just have a little bit of a look to see at where we've got up to and what we've done. So here's basically where I've chosen to mount the LED module just on one of the original arms there. And cable that out of the way. That actually seems to work quite nicely. Um, underneath, we've got the NASA's power supply unit sort of tucked up under there, which is quite a neat little place for it. Um, the All the wires from the ESCs are coming around, and just for the minute, they've just been tucked in there. I will probably cable tie them into a loose bunch, but they're just kind of out of the way there. Um, and we went for as you can probably tell, the DR16. We went for the DJI receiver and transmitter combo um, for £99. A couple of reasons for that. Price, it's pretty reasonable. Um, and also the fact that it's a one connection. There's one wire from here into the relevant port on the NASA and that's done. That was it. It was that simple um, and it worked straight out the box. Um, no problems at all. I mean, it was a piece of cake, and that's pretty, a pretty for for those, for, for for you know being a newbie to it and not having any other aircraft with other receivers. So I didn't want to go out and buy a Futaba or something like that. This is compatible with other transmitters, though. So you know, and I thought for the price, get one of these, which I'm very familiar with, and that was a great one wire solution. Um, which is great. So we've got a bit more space here for mounting. There's a bit more space on this side here for mounting things. And of course, we've got plenty of space now underneath because I bought the legs. These are the DJI legs. <coughs> uh, they're fairly lightweight. They're quite nicely designed. They've got this little little notch cutter in each of them. So there is an element, I don't know if you see that, there's just a little element of give. So, you know, it just takes some of the shock out of any nasty landings that you might have. Um, I took some advice from those more more um, experienced than I, and I have gone for a 3.6, 3,600 milliamp hour 4S. So that's a 14.8 volt LiPo. I've got two of those. Um, the reason being that in its sort of bare state at the moment, um, this is probably overkill, but if I, I do intend to add some things to it, and it's better to start with, you know, a bit more surplus. I can always... Um, you know, change that, and to match those, we're using the small the 1085. I think they are 8045. Sorry, not 1085. Um, 8045 props. Uh, these come with the um, almost ready to fly kit, so they're on. Um, GPS mounted here. The battery. Just put a bit of Velcro on there, just to sort of hold it, and allow you to sort of adjust the center of gravity, hold it, and then strap it down. Um, and yeah. She's ready, and actually, they were, I didn't bother filming any of the intermediate steps because they were really straightforward, especially using this receiver. Everything else was literally sticky pad and plug. Um, I did have to change the um, two of the motors were rotating in the wrong direction, um, and all you need to do, I sort of had them all coming out the same in the same sort of order. Let's have a look, can we see one? So here's one which was in the wrong way round. And I had each of these in turn. Where are we going? There we are. One, two, three was going one, two, three. All you need to do is swap one of the end ones and one of the midpoint ones. So swap that one and that one over and your motor will rotate magically in the opposite direction. And obviously when you set it up, um, you want to make sure that you've got your your motors correctly. If you've got it set up as a standard quad, then this one here, though, by the way, on mine, I've put the red arms at the back. To me, just red for rear. I don't know. Your mileage may vary. But anyway, looking forwards, this is M1, M2, 
M3, M4, and the wires from the ESC just plug into the relevant M1, M2, M3, M4 slot on the NASA. Um, yeah, receiver was one wire. GPS was just one wire and a plug. I fixed it there with sticky pads. Uh, use a bit of contact adhesive to hold this in. It was all very sort of very loose, but that's holding its orientation. I've got to make sure that it's oriented with the uh, little arrow here facing the direction, same the direction as the as the NASA, which is the obviously the direction of forward. And that was it. Um, yeah, bit of cable tying, bit of changing and jostling around a few little things. Um, changing my mind a couple of times about where I would locate the receiver. Um, really pleased. It's it's gone together really quite nicely. I've learned some soldering. My soldering is not too bad. I have tested it um, in terms of running voltage through it and with the meter, and it all fires up. I've had it idling props off, um, but I now need to sort of calibrate everything up, as I say. Um, We'll, I'll do that um, and we'll have a maiden flight and you never know I may get Tom who is sadly absent today due to a prior engagement with the Cub Scouts um, I might get Tom to, uh, to to film film a maiden flight which may be asking for trouble and that one might not ever get shown you never know but I think what we'll do is probably just literally pop it into a very low hover in the back garden um, you need to do that anyway to calibrate the um, the voltage protection system as I understand it um, but I'll be I'll be reading up on that as we go. So there we go. Um, we've really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's coming at one point, just under one point two kilos all in, with the battery on, um, which obviously is a significant proportion of the weight. Um, so we'll see what the thirty six hundred four S gives us in terms of performance. I suspect it will be a little rocket ship in terms of climb performance, but we will see. So there we go. Just a very quick update. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long. It's just it's just taken ages to find a spare bit of time. Once we got all the soldering done, in reality, if I hadn't have been delaying working out for a receiver, I think if I build another one, it will probably take. You could probably put one together. Um, if you had all the components, having done it once, it's probably an evening, one evening, and you'll be up uh, the next day. I do apologise for my dog this argument. It was a bit uncomfortable. So there we go. Many thanks to you for watching. Um, any questions about, about the build so far, obviously just, just stick them down there. Um, um, other than that, though, fingers crossed for a successful maiden. So, yeah, um, uh, I can't crack champagne over it. That, that would be very expensive. But there's just, you know, may God look after her and all who fly her. Anyway. Cheers.